The history of Rajasthan has been marked by struggles and the political landscape of the state over the past five years has not been much different. Politics in the state has witnessed several twists and turns with the main parties, Congress and BJP, making concerted efforts to defeat each other. Ashok Gehloth, against the backdrop of internal discord, managed to maintain his grip on power, thwarting the efforts of the BJP and addressing discontent within the party. The main parties, Congress and BJP, are struggling internal rift in the state, while Congress grappled with the rebellion of Pilate in the state. BJP too struggled with former CM Vasundra Raji. She is known to have her differences with the party's current top leadership. In July 2020, Gehloth and Pilate's discord escalated when Pilate led a rebellion, taking 18 MLAs and causing political upheaval, resulting in Pilate's removal. Gehloth accused Pilate's faction of BJP collusion. Ongoing tensions have shaped Rajasthan's politics with internal disruptions. Following party advice, Pilate embraced forgiveness and progress. The BJP refrained from naming Raja as its chief ministerial candidate or campaign leader. The parliamentary board opted not to have a CM phase, choosing instead to contest the election solely under the party symbol. This election holds great importance for Ashok Gehlot and Vasundra Raja, both influential leaders in state politics for the last two decades. Now the voting for the high-profile Rajasthan election is over. Out of 200 assembly seats, the result for 199 assembly constituencies is all set to be announced. The election for one seat was cancelled as Congress candidate from Sri Ganganagar's Karanpur seat, Gurmeet Singh Kunur passed away. Over 5.25 crore voters decided the fate of around 1,862 candidates in the 199 assembly constituencies. More than 1.70 lakh security personnel were deployed across the state. While the ruling Congress focused its election campaign mainly on the works and performance of the Ashok Gehlot government, its schemes and programs, and also banged on the promise of seven guarantees, if the party retains power, the BGP attacked the Congress on issues such as crime against women, appeasement, corruption, and paper leak. Congress President Malikarjun Kharge, party leaders Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, Gehloth, and others conducted a series of election meetings, while Prime Minister Narendra Modi led the election campaign for the BJP and held multiple meetings. He also held road shows in Bikaner and Jaipur. BJP President J.P. Nadda, Union Ministers Amit Shah, Smriti Rani and Rajnath Singh and Chief Ministers Yogi Adityanath, Shivra Singh Chauhan and Hemanta Biswa Sarma, among others, also addressed public meetings in various constituencies across the state. Over the past 25 years, no political party in Rajasthan has maintained power. During this period, the state witnessed only two chief ministers, Ashok Gehloth of the Congress and Vasundra Raja of the Bharti Janta Party, alternating the position. In this election, Congress expects to break the pattern and BJP hopes to make a comeback. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.